Who are the biggest bastards in the Middle East right now in terms of um, excessive use of, of awful power to get what they want? If you start counting out who's killed the most people, well, Saddam is somewhat lower than the Americans and the British in 2003. Uh, Palestinians have killed fewer Israelis and Israelis have killed Palestinians. But you can't do it like that. What you've got to do is to say, look, hold on a second. Who do the various power holders, what do they want to do and who are they working for? Are they working for America, Russia, Israel, Iran? Um, at the end of the day, we've got to wait to see a new series of leaders within the Arab world who emerge from the people. Not Well, NASA got close to it. Oddly enough, the only statesman I've ever come across in the Middle East was ex-president Hatami of Iran. He wanted a new, he wanted a civil society. He talked about it, and the Americans slapped him down, and we got that wretched man, Ahmadinejad. But you know, I'm not trying to equate different groups, but there are no good guys in the Middle East. Some are better than others, though. Some get elected. The problem is that the moment you start saying that, you're inviting people to join one side or the other, and it doesn't work. The Middle East is not uh, a game where you play neutral middleman. You, you can be, as a journalist, you should be neutral and impartial on the side of those who suffer. But it is not a football game. It is a bloody tragedy. And the people who are suffering suddenly are tired of it. They don't want to suffer anymore. So they had their revolutions, and now they decided they'll go to Germany. Hmm. Think about that.